Hey, look at that Mongo cookie back again. After having a wonderful vacation, seeing a bunch of beautiful people, now that the rain is slowly going away and a new month has started, so have I. Uh, well, while I've been gone, I hope everyone that watches this is doing very well, drinking lots of water and staying in good health. <laughs> because today we have some fun tins to open. But, um, <laughs> I didn't expect this to happen immediately. <laughs> wow, nice welcome back to me. Well, I mean, besides this, I had some fun stuff to do today. Pull some Pokemon cards out from the real old Mongo Cook archives. Just to have a nice fun day of looking at some interesting cards. But I guess, uh, but, but this is also, I mean, this is pretty interesting too, I guess. <laughs> wow. I for completely forgot that there was gold cards in this too, and I think there's another one out there, but my god! Oh well, yes, yeah, yeah, welcome back everybody, this is, this is pretty cool. <laughs> well, besides the introduction Shining Fates pack that I wanted to open right there, what I'm showing you today is something you've probably seen in a previous video. They are more GX tag team tins with nice little promo cards on the inside. And of course, they come in a set of three, so we'll be opening three of them today, which comes to a total of 16 different booster packs. It'll be a fun time. All right, and now that we've got them all safely into sleeveys, let's take a good look at them. So from the first tag team tin right behind us, we have this really nice Eevee and Snorlax GX card. Oh, look at it. <laughs> I like that illustration. I like how some of them just get a little more creative than others. Speaking of, here's a Celebi and Venusaur GX. Not crazy illustrated like the last one, but very, uh, very elegant. Very nice. And, I, and they all got the nice uh, rainbowy texture card stuff to them. So that's cool too. And then there's Pikachu and Zekrom GX full art. This is probably one of the coolest. I, if I could rate them, I'd probably do it like first second and third solely because Pikachu is riding on the back of Zekrom and that's awesome. <laughs> but yeah, the main reason why I wanted these tins in the first place was for these cards because look how pretty they are. They all come textured and they're so nice and they'll be sitting right next to Eternatus or Eternatus. I, I never knew how to pronounce these names, sorry. The PR and can't forget those tin codes. Beep, boop, bop, boop, beep, there you go. Keep in mind whoever's watching this, whenever I'm done showing the uh, code cards to my phone, I always throw them away, so I really hope they're being used by somebody. Okay, so we have four sets that we're gonna go through today. Of course, everyone's favorite, XY Steam Siege, got three of those. We got Sun and Moon, Crimson Invasion, three of those to open, that's not a bad set. Sun and Moon, the original, this is a good one, I'm excited for that. And of course, some Burning Shadows. Usually I'm excited for Burning Shadows, but it's really hard to find the best cards in that one. And I think I already have the big boy himself, so I don't really need to waste too much energy and sadness on that. Let's start with Steam Siege. Steam Siege is fun. This is a, this is a fun booster pack. There's nothing really incredibly uh, crazy on this one. Whoops, I forgot how to pull Steam Siege, but there's your back card. <laughs> Really nice talent flame. So I guess it is three to the front. The reason why I pulled from the back is because I wasn't sure if I was missing out. Oh! I wasn't sure if I was missing out on an energy card, but I guess it is just three. Sweet! Hey, that's a new break card for me. Claw, ugh, claw it, sir. How pretty. Oh, I like these cards. I feel like these cards went under the radar for a lot of people. It's so nice. Cool, we still got a nice pull from Steam Siege so far. And you can go right over there, just cover up some cards, why not? And we'll move into the next. Now I always see that golden Uveltal on the front too. And if like, if that's a break card, I would love to have it. I like collecting break cards. I feel like I always have plenty. Then I look at it and it's just all doubles. So it's like, nah, not really. <laughs> like with almost every single Pokemon set, you got a long ass way to go. Okay, Volcanion, what do we got? All right, show me the money. Uh, however much that may be, probably like $3. <laughs> something nice i do i ooh. all right quick shout out to this hop hip though i really like the art in that it's like a crayola crayon art all right okay well we got the volcanian in the volcanian pack that's 
worth something, I maybe. All right, now that that silly set's out of the way, let's go to the next silly set, Crimson Invasion. I'm sure avid watchers of probably mostly the stream are known or know this set pretty well. Okay, there's an energy on the back. I did open a whole booster box of these because I was I managed to find a good one for cheap. It makes sense. This is one of the lesser popular ones, but that's why I got it. Market-wise, I do kind of enjoy when people care less about Pokemon cards or specific uh, series because everything right now is just crazy. I mean, some of the prices are going down right now, which is decent, but uh, I, I mean, I've stopped getting Pokemon cards in stores for a long time now because I found a real cool dude that does the uh, Pokemon card industry well in terms of price. But yeah, I don't know, maybe there's, it feels like there might be some sort of reform soon with Pokemon. Maybe they'll flood stores with uh, just a ton of Pokemon cards. They are doing a lot of reprints, which I think is helping a little bit, to be honest. It's like when there's more of it, especially, and then especially when they want to reprint it, that's when people start to care less, when there's just too much of it. I mean, in some cases, it's having too much is kind of meh, but in other cases, like, I don't know, you still have Burning Shadows as a series. That might not get a reprint, so there's, like, Pokemon has a ton of cards already. We don't need to have incredibly rare cards to pull in every single set. It'd be cool if, you know, everyone had a fair shot at getting the good good without having to, you know, blow a hole in their wallet. All right, I guess for the sake of specialness, we'll do Burning Shadows last, and we'll go into this very nice Sun and Moon series. Yeah, Sun and Moon was a booster box I didn't get that often, mostly because uh, I remember Max Mofo making a video about a booster box being like pre-prepared. Like if you counted out the booster packs perfectly in the box, you could tell when the the rare and the ultra rares were going to show up. It wasn't that complicated. It was a cool video, but that's what kept me far away from ever getting a booster box there. It's scary. I don't want to take a risk with that, especially if I know it's like preset. Like I, I already know I'm going to find a big one probably in most booster boxes, but the, the randomization is where it's at. That's why you open cards because the randomization's fun. It's like gambling for kids. All right, what do we got here? I think there's gonna be something good. We haven't seen anything good since the beginning of the video. A Lolan monk. <laughs> That's pretty good. And the she she nautic the she okay. <laughs> Mushroom in the forest. I'm a little afraid of it, but it looks nice. Okay, now what do we got here? Come on. Something nice, perhaps. I'm even fine if Incineroar gave me an Incineroar card. At least that'd be cool. Oh, a nice clay metapod, Gramble, Pokeball, Cosmo, Dragarola, Sandy Gas, Caterpie, Reverse Hollow, Wingle. Very nice illustration. Hey, 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 I take. Sweet Lapras GX. That's awesome. Like I said, since I don't get Sun and Moon, <laughs> or since I didn't get the Sun and Moon booster box, I actually don't have a ton of Sun and Moon cards in general. This is a fine addition. I have a ton of Lapras now. They can all just be a nice family of Lapras with their mouths open all the time, screaming into the abyss. Cool, we'll just throw you right over there. All right, and into the final set. Will we pull something incredible like a Rainbow Charizard again? Probably not, but this sure is a fun little series to open. Although I'm pretty sure for most people it brings more pain than not. And I got incredibly lucky. I haven't seen luck like that in a while. Besides, I mean, I can't speak much. We did get the Golden Eternatus, but yeah, yeah, you, you know, you know what I mean. Everyone loves a good, crazy, ultra rare Charizard. Lately, I can't find any of those. Da, 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 here we go, another one. That's that's the boy Necrozma, I'm pretty sure. Almost positive. I usually keep away from the Polygon Pokemon. <laughs> They freak me out. They're a little scary. All right, Fairy, Baton, Metapod, Duskull, Oddish, Mudray, Sock, Toge, Demaro, Escape Rope, and a holographic Vileplume, at least. That's nice. I like Vileplume. I've always enjoyed Vileplume. I still have one in my Pokemon Red run through. I wonder if it's doing okay. I'm pretty sure I boxed it. <laughs> okay, ho, ho, this is our last boobster pack for the day. Please be good to us. We already have a wonderful collection behind us, but I think I deserve just one more. Just one more. Like a cherry on top of the cake with the ready whip and the 
you know all that sweet stuff i know you like the sweet stuff come on hey <laughs> guard of war gx sick it's what i asked for i wanted this sweet stuff and it, i mean the petals for a second i thought were candy but they are petals sweet stuff right here we got a very nice uh, pull session here got a couple of new gx a new break a new very awesome rare card let's line these boys up hey here's our pull let's look at everyone one more time all right thanks everyone for coming and watching this stuff i'm glad you decided to stick around even after <laughs> i've had this long break if you like what you're watching please uh, consider subscribing and liking i'm almost to my uh, goal for the year of subscribers so if you want to help me out a little bit more, that'd be pretty nice of you. And I'll continue to keep doing this stuff on a nice, regularly scheduled uh, a week, work week. Whatever those are. I don't work. I do this. <laughs> but yeah, un until then, you guys have a fantastic rest of your week. And I will see you later. Love you lots. Peace out. Bye-bye.